didn't see you there. My name is William Madison, but my friends call me Randy the Snake. I've been thinking a lot about the Dick Daddy Survival School, just the tips. And well, as one of the founding members and one of the instructors, I felt it was important to let all of you new recruits know what you're getting yourself into. At some point in your training, you're going to go through SUT, Small Undercarriage Techniques. And after you master this class, you are going to go into Throbbing Sage. It's the culmination exercise of everything you've learned. I'll show you a little bit about what I got on me when I'm at my house, and you damn well better have it on you when you're in Throbbing Sage. First, an axe. You never know when a bear might come around. Sometimes it might get a little cold when you're doing Throbbing Sage. So Randy the Snake, he likes to stay warm with his friends. The way he does that, he's got himself some ferro rods, just like old Sturgill Simpson was talking about. You can get a few sparks out of one of them, but I tell you what, you might want to have one of these bad boys on you too. Just a nice simple lighter. You never know when you're going to run into some peyote and you don't want to miss out on a good time. Yeah, come on. Of course, you're always going to have to have a sidearm. This is your uh, subcompact variety. You can keep this in your trousers, especially if you're wearing a Speedo. You're definitely going to want to have a secondary knife. A wise man once said, you can never have too many knives. All right? And this one's a little bit of a bludgeon or two. You get a little, you get a little tap tap on someone's head. They'll know, they'll remember you for a while. And just in case you thought I was only carrying one weapon, by God, you got to have yourself a second weapon on you because you never know when the worst case scenario might be coming. So those are a few tips for throbbing sage from your friend Randy the Snake. For the Dick Daddy Survival School. Stay safe out there.